Boston, what a great city, it's a city on a hill, it's Beantown, it's Boston, oh yeah, it's Boston, Massachusetts, let's go to Kenmore Square, let's catch a baseball game, go Red Sox! You might be wondering who this is, well, let me show you. He's written 20,000 songs, starred in eight feature-length films, and hosts a weekly podcast, but I bet you can't name him. Although he performs under 80 different aliases, today we'll call him Matt Farley. And I'm your host, Malika Moyer. Welcome to the show, Matt. Thanks, Malika. Now, you're eclectic, if nothing else, as a musician. Can you describe your sound? What I'm best known for is wacky songs about unusual topics. And for years, critics have called your wacky songs um, and you as a person spamming and cheating your audience, but yet the numbers are working in your favor. You have hundreds of thousands of views on some of your songs. So why do you think people are responding to your music? Okay, well, the critics respond to it because they hear that a guy has made 20,000 songs in his basement based off search engine optimization. He must be terrible, you know? But um, the actual listeners are actually listen and then keep coming because, um, believe it or not, the songs are good. I mean, yes, they're wacky and, and silly, but um, they're hilarious, I think. Are you choosing your song subject matters as a way to have fun with your music, or are you trying to gain notoriety for having these wacky topics? Recording anything is fun. I've been obsessed with making music uh, since I was a teenager. But I noticed, like, if, if I had a weird word in one of my song titles, it would make me a little bit of money. I mean, just a little bit, like $2 a year, you know? And that was, like, my most popular song, was earning me about $2 a year. And most people would quit. But I, I looked at it and I was like, if I had 20,000 of these, I'd be making $40,000 a year off music. So uh, I spent the next decade doing that and uh, it's working. Let's talk about some of your writing. You write about anything and everything. Yeah. Is there anything you won't write about? You know, some people have said you should do an album about um, diseases, you know? And I was like, yeah, I don't know, maybe. Someone who's suffering from that mm -hmm. disease might not appreciate a wacky song about it, you know? Yeah. Tuberculosis. Oh, <laughs> you, know, you know, who wants to hear that? So I, I stay away. I, I try to stay away from things that will bother people. And for your fans who are giving you some song topics, yeah. have they ever sent you a request that's too far? I, I've done two songs for funerals. Oh, yeah. oh wow. I know. Um, and that was a big... Um, <laughs> a big task. Were the, As the emails coming the melodies in, of those a little more somber, or are they still fun? Oh no, Johnny's not alive anymore. No, it, I mean, they knew they were dealing with me, mm -hmm. and they wanted, they kind of wanted a, a celebration of the person. But it was still a lot of pressure. I was told they were, they went over well, and I like to imagine someone at the service listening and then being like, "Is that the poop song guy? You know, I, I recognize that voice." <laughs> Before we go, I do have a little challenge for you. Okay. Right here, right now, on the spot. Bring it on. Would you mind writing us a song about bright orange traffic cones? Let's go with the melody that we were doing for the funeral song. <laughs> Perfect. Bright orange traffic cones telling me which way to go. Bright orange traffic cones telling me which way to go. Whoa. What would I do without those bright orange? Traffic cones, oh, oh, whoever put them there was worried about keeping me safe. Bright orange traffic cones, oh my goodness, those things are so wonderful. If they were a different color, they'd be harder to see. When my headlights shine on them, I can see them very clearly, and that's very important, oh yeah. Bright orange traffic cones. Thank okay. you for that. That Thank was amazing. You. We just witnessed another hit being made. Thank you so much for coming and sharing your story, playing songs for us, Matt. Thank you. It was fun. And thank you, all of you at home, for watching this edition of One on One. We'll see you next time. Orange traffic cones reminded me I'm in a construction zone.